Please welcome the filmmaking team behind Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, director Jonathan Liebsman, and Platinum Dunes producers Andrew Form and Brad Fuller. to thank Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird because 30 years ago these guys created this unbelievable franchise and for the last three years we've been able to hang out with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and there is nothing cooler than that. And the fact is is that we're all fans. Lebo's a lifelong fan, Drew's been a fan for a long time and Kevin doesn't know I'm gonna do this and he's gonna hate me for doing this but 21 years ago <laughs> my son was born and I got Kevin to sign a photo to my son and I want you to see He's got a Bill Cosby sweater on. Oh, the right, can you see that? And acid wash jeans. Can you see that? That's like, you remember doing that, Kev? I'm still doing that. And that is an that amazing mustache. mustache. mustache it's like there we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, I look at my blushing much. Yeah. Thank you. That's so cool. No, it's Sorry, amazing. Buddy. First clip, and we're so excited for you guys to see it. I don't think anyone has really seen this footage. No Never. one has. First time. First time. All age. First audience. And, um, so we're about 10 minutes into the movie, and um, April O'Neil, Megan Fox, uh, knows that there's a vigilante out in the city fighting back against the foot, and she's the only person who sort of is onto the story, and we pick it up there where she is hot on the heels of the vigilante. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Megan Fox, and Will Arnett. We were both pretty familiar. We have our own kind of history with the, with the turtles. I'll let you go first, Meg. Um, I mean, I grew up a, f a fan of the uh, live action movies and you know, I was born in 86, so I was sort of the, the prime age demographic for that. And uh, I watched the cartoon also. So I obviously was familiar with who April was, but as you guys probably know, she's, she's been slightly different in each manifestation. So um, we weren't exactly sure who she was gonna be when I had my meeting and that sort of developed afterwards. <laughs> but I'm familiar, yeah. I'm, cause I'm a fan guys, come on. <laughs> uh, well, I, I also was born in 86 and <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that about you, that's so funny. Um, what, what hospital? Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, when I was uh, growing up, the, the, I was probably a little older than, uh, I, I kind of, fell between the cracks and the turtles, but I had a younger brother, much younger, who was a big fan, so I got to kind of experience them through him, and then in the last few years, I've been able to experience it again through my own kids, who are just legitimate, huge turtles fans. So when I first became aware of, of the movie um, and that they were gonna do it, uh, I could see through my own kids how excited they were and their friends about it and how what a great story it was and, and what a great sort of, uh, uh, what great characters they were. So I was excited also to, to come aboard. You know, when you look at what we did in the original comic books to the different version that we've done in the cartoon show to some of the most recent IDW comic books, it's fun to sort of keep the heart and soul of the characters but take a step to the left or right um, and explore some other avenues and it gives us all creatively uh, something exciting to explore in the story. But when you see this movie, you're going to actually flip. You're going to love it. Trust me, it's, it's, it's fantastic. I'm so proud of it. It's like trying to choose which one of your kids you like better than the others, but I've always been partial to Mikey because that's the first turtle ever drawn, the first one I drew that made Peter laugh and did his own version that then spawned the idea of us doing all four. So I love them all dearly, but Michael's, uh, Mikey Michelangelo is uh, very near and dear because he's the first turtle ever drawn. So.